it's the power couple and today i'll be analyzing and discussing the new episode that just dropped jubilation so without further ado let's begin so we start off the episode with marinette taking her morning jog and then tiki spots the alliance commercial and asks about adrian and then marinette just explains that it's just a 3d model and tiki is very impressed but then marinette goes on to slightly blush and tiki just has to bring this up that she could be in love with him but of course marinette denies it because she lost the miraculous over her love for adrian we then see mr damocles try to help a kitten but he fails and his mask is completely crushed and then we see the imposter ladybug trying to help him which she does and she gets him down safely surprisingly without any superpowers marinette then comes home and literally changes in like five seconds and then heads out to buy some paints so then she comes to whatever this place is but i assume a mall where she meets her friend and former classmate suckleen i think but i've totally butchered that name and i'm so sorry and they just have a nice little friendly conversation of how their lives have been since they last seen each other and then Marinette also tells her that she's learned to dealt with Chloe, which is a very good thing. Marinette then sees her alliance ring and for the first time in real life, not through commercials. And then Suklin lets her try it on. And she also figures out that you can actually change the outfit of the character in your alliance ring. But then she just elaborates on how she knows Adrian and that they've gotten to know each other very well. And Suklin, her friend, is just freaking out and then figures out, kind of, that they're together. But Marinette obviously denies it, which I really wish she didn't. But then she gets into a little argument with her over the whole ladybug thing. But then she has to go because there's a dinosaur with wings. That's a new one. Saklin then offers Mr. Damocles, her former principal, a mask since he is down in the dumps. And then Marinette comes back and she ran a great distance in like 15 minutes, obviously because she's Ladybug, and she freaks out. And then we see Gabriel's alliance ring, which turns out to be Emily. And apparently he can track, well, I assume everyone who's wearing an alliance ring, of their distance and time which frankly is a bit creepy and a violation to people's privacy so he goes to akumatize mr damocles and taps daisy's cage so apparently the kwame goes inside the technology so it does make a little more sense and then he's akumatized into the darker owl marinette is just about to leave and luckily her friend remembers the paint she bought for her mom and then Marinette goes to hop on her scooter and go home. But then Tiki furiously looks at her to go back and make sure her friend doesn't do all the dangerous stuff. But it's a little too late because the villain just showed up. But she was actually smart enough to record herself where the Akuma is. Marinette spots this and runs off to transform. And then the villain uses the power of jubilation on her and Monarch realizes she's not the real Ladybug. Nevertheless, Ladybug appears, but they're both gone, and she finds the message that Suklin left her. So she's actually pretty damn smart. But then, Adrian's room. What happened? Why is it a disaster? What did he do to his room? And why is there an empty pizza box lying on the table? This is a disaster. Adrian then sees the message that the Darker Owl sent to come save the hostage he took, which happens to be Suklin. So Ladybug and Cat Noir do appear, but they fell victims to his trap. So Ladybug summons her lucky charm, which appears to be an alarm clock, while Cat Noir saves Suklin. But then Ladybug saves Cat Noir from getting hit, but then they both get hit with the power of jubilation, and this is where the fun begins. So the start of their dream is when they actually defeat the darker owl and then find a clue that leads them to Monarch and then they defeat him, which they both obviously want to do so badly. Ladybug retrieves the butterfly miraculous and I assume all the others 
and then she puts them back safely in her miracle box and the people of Paris are just cheering both Ladybug and Cat Noir on. So then we see Cat Noir and Ladybug at the movies and Cat Noir is offering her a drink and apparently her favorite flavor. So then she goes to make a little pun and then she just leans on him and it's so romantic. This, this is how a real couple is and I have been dying all these seven years just to get a glimpse of it, regardless if it's a dream. But then the alarm clock shows up and it's huge! And then we see them in reality that they're just completely like paralyzed of their own dream. And then Cat Noir and Ladybug kiss and it goes into their wedding. So the wedding isn't actually real. It's a dream. But no one said it couldn't be real. So then Ladybug goes to throw her bouquet, but then it turns into the alarm clock again, and Rena Rouge catches it. Such a shame. I would have loved to see her catch the bouquet. Ladybug then goes to tell her to shut the alarm clock off. And then we see the transition into another scene, and Cat Nora is wearing one of those vests they used to carry babies and then he goes to feed the baby a bottle the baby is cute but i'd prefer not a creepy doll and then we go to see the beach or the island and ladybug and cat noir are just lying there and i love cat noir's mustache it's hilarious but this time they have two babies now instead of one and then the alarm clock rings of course and ladybug shuts it off and then she just snuggles in with her partner. It is adorable! We then see Ladybug strap her kid in one of those strollers that they used to push around. And apparently now she has four babies! And Ladybug and Cat Noir are just sitting there with ice cream. And I love the way Cat Noir put his hand on her knee. It's so gorgeous. And they just lean closer together as they watch the sunset. It is so beautiful. I could not think of anything better. But then Ladybug finds a, the clock in her mouth. It is the strangest thing. And then she realizes there's alarm clocks everywhere. Even her children turned into alarm clocks. So then she realizes this is a dream. A very realistic dream. And then Cat Noir goes to say, Yes, living with you is the best dream. This is so romantic. It clearly shows how much he cares for her. It's just a shame he has to let go this season. And he just gently touches her cheek. It's so beautiful. This dude is so romantic. I love it. But then she just shows him the clock. And he asks for confirmation. Is this fake? And she gives it to him. But then he just starts crying. It's so sad. And all she can say is, we have to wake up. But then Cat Noir says, he doesn't want this to end. And neither do we. It's so gorgeous. And she says it too. And then even though the translation is wrong with the English subtitles, she says, kiss me. And I know this. Because even though I'm not completely fluent in Portuguese, I know enough to translate that one sentence. And then they kiss. And it's so cute. And then it starts to rain. And they playing the music back in season one with the umbrella scene. And oh my gosh, this could not get any better. But then Ladybug disappears and he just collapses and says, No! And then Ladybug snaps back. But here's a question of the magical moments we just witnessed. They both got hit. And the dream was the same. So does that mean that their hearts desire the same thing? To be together, get married, and have children. And just be in love the rest of their lives. And... If it was more of a communication, which we did see, does that mean they were communicating with each other, not exactly verbally, but perhaps mentally in each other's minds? And that's why 
and how Ladybug was able to get through to Cat Noir that this wasn't real. It was all a dream, even though they wish it was real. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Back to the episode. So then Ladybug then holds the darker owl in a difficult position, but then she gets hit and is kicked into a wall, sort of. And then Cat Noir comes on the attack and he is extremely mad. And then he goes to cataclysm him, but the only reason he didn't was because Ladybug yelled out, No! And then he just freezes and realizes what he was about to do. And instead, cataclysms the akumatized object, which is the mask. And boy, does he look a bit distressed. And so does Ladybug. Probably because he was about to kill the dude, but also because of the dream. So then Daisy returns to the cage and she is exhausted. And then Ladybug realizes... Mr. Damocles doesn't have the miraculous on him. So Ladybug sadly, if you notice her facial expression, gives him a magical charm. And then she goes to Sock Clint to confront her about not doing the dangerous work anymore, and the girls both exchange a nice quick hug. And then we return to Marinette's house in which her mother presents her gift, which is the alliance ring, for spending her Saturday helping out. But Marinette rejects it, and obviously to protect her secret identity because she is Ladybug and the Guardian, it's very risky. The end card would have been shown straight after, but I will show it near the end of the video. Anyway, so Ladybug and Cat Noir are sitting where they normally sit to just talk to each other, asking, how did Monarch do what he just did? Give the power without actually giving the miraculous. And Ladybug doesn't really have an answer. So then they discuss the power of the pig and what they just saw in the dream. And Cat Noir is obviously is kind of strange. And then Ladybug's like, oh yeah, marriage, kids, extremely strange. And then she goes to say, Monarch probably just altered it. And Cat Noir agrees. But she knows, as well as we know, that's not what happened. There's just one thing. Monarch may be able to just change the shape and form of the Miraculous, but he can't change the power or interfere with it. That's not how it works. Anyways, back on to this glorious ending. And then Cat Noir just goes to say, if it were true, it would be really strange. And Ladybug agrees hesitantly, and you can see the sense of guilt in her face. And then they just stare at the sunset together. And now this is when I will show you the end card, and it's gorgeous. But one thing to take away from this is how big the emphasis is on Lila. This means she will either appear in the next episode, which she, we know she will, or she's going to play a really big role, which of course is also true so we can now panic because lila is going to do a lot to us this season especially marinette well that's all i mainly have to say for today guys i don't really know what to add other than we're in a roller coaster of a lifetime I will be reacting to the trailer that was released for Determination today on Thursday, so be on the lookout for that. Please put any comments you would like down in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button, and I send my infinite love to you all. And I'll see you all next time!